What's up, guys? I like vlogging with my glasses on. Reminds me of this guy, Casey something. I follow him on on YouTube. Super funny guy. His vlogs are awesome. But yeah, he always wears his sunglasses because he said then he could look at his camera. See, I'm looking at the screen right now to make sure I'm in frame. You don't even know what I'm looking at because I got... Boop, I'm actually looking there. Should be looking there. Whatever. It's tight. Little things. So, anyways, whatever. What's up, guys? My name is Tyler Nolan, and welcome to my channel. So today is kind of exciting, for me at least. I have been looking for these baby cobras online for a couple of months. I talked about them in a couple vlogs a while ago. Been looking for them ever since. Actually, somebody on here sent me a DM on Instagram, said, hey, check out this guy. Pretty sure he just had a bunch of babies. You should hit him up. So yeah, I hit him up on Facebook. Come to find out that he had babies coming out of the eggs literally the day that I hit him up. He only had a couple babies out so far. So I was like, hell yeah, man. Let me know when they're all out, blah, blah, blah. Sent me a bunch of pictures. Got striped ones, has banded ones. Super cool. So I bought a couple from him. And now I am on my way to the airport to pick them up. It's like 4 o'clock right now. Heading over to the Fort Lauderdale airport to pick these little guys up. I'm gonna explain. I know you're thinking it's crazy. Like, oh, you're picking up cobras from the airport. It's crazy. Cobras get here on airplanes. Snakes on a plane. It's a real thing. Show you guys how to ship them, what to ship them in, what the regulation is for shipping venomous animals. Um, and then show you the babies that I got. They're just baby cobras. I gotta stop at Home Depot and pick up a couple things. Oh, and tonight, at nine o'clock, I have to go back to the airport to get another snake that I was, I've been looking online a lot lately. Keep in mind, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a couple things actually. Maybe you guys, if you guys ever see of any or know of anybody selling any, stay on top of the forums, I do. I'm on King Snake and Fauna every day. Um, I found this male Lucy monocle cobra, four or five foot, beautiful snake I've used to have a mon I used to have a leucistic monocle for a while but it was old uh, I was like the fourth owner older snake female she never was able to breed I tried breeding her so many times never produced eggs the whole time I had her she ended up dying now I'm gonna get this male tonight I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna do a video on him tomorrow for you guys I'm gonna pair that snake up with that sunset monocle that I have. So that should make some really cool looking babies. So stay tuned for that. It's raining right now, really hard. I gotta go grab these little snakes and then I gotta hit up Home Depot. And then it's time to go take them out when we get home. Super stoked. So a couple of things that I've really been looking for are, I told you before in the, in the last I think it was the last video of the video before. I'm looking for a juvenile Malaysian King Cobra. There is a King Cobra on King Snake and Fauna right now, but it's a Chinese cross Indo. So it's like one quarter Chinese and then the rest Indo. It's, it's a pretty king, but it's still dark. It's banded, it's cool, but I really want a Malaysian King for sure. Or even a Chinese Malaysian, something like that. That'd be awesome. I wish I could just get a straight Chinese, but they're like impossible to get now. Tom Crutchfield had one named Grace for a while, and I really wanted them, and someone offered him more money, I guess, and I guess he went to somebody else. Whatever. Bummer. So, the King Cobra, definitely looking for one. A Malaysian. A Croc Monitor. Tom's supposed to be breeding these guys soon, too. He just hasn't had anybody have... Uh, he hasn't had any of his crocs 
lay fertile eggs yet. So as soon as he gets a fertile egg, I'm getting a croc monitor from Tom. Or if I find somebody in the meantime, be I want a baby croc monitor, like baby baby. I want to raise it, little tiny, little tiny baby. I want to have a huge puppy dog team croc monitor. They're my favorite monitors of all times. I love them. So cool. Look them up, or I'll put a little picture here so you guys can see what they look like. Super cool. The other animal that I am looking for is my croc permit should come in the mail again soon. I'm renewing that, I'm getting that all situated again. So I either want to get another baby gator or a little baby croc, something like that. Not really too sure, but stay tuned. It's all going to happen. Keep me posted if you find out. If you know anybody that's selling a Malaysian King Cobra or croc monitors, babies, hit me up. Package is secure. Sick. Check out how the, his name is Timothy that I got it from. Look at this. Uh, let me show you a little better. Look how he packaged this. Awesome. Live animals. It says venomous on the side. It's got a couple other warning labels on it. Zip tied, closed. Super dope. All right, let's go hit up Home Depot real quick and then we'll go home and unbox these guys. All right, so these are full size face masks, okay? Put them on your head. It's like wearing safety goggles, but way better. Covers the whole front of your face. These are gonna be crucial for later. in the snake room. Time to open up this baby, I'm so excited. So check out how they got this packaged real quick. I know I showed you in the car real fast, but plastic container, you can do this one of two ways. You are allowed to use these containers now with the locking lids, you have to drill holes in them, zip tie it shut so it's super secure and safe. Or the other option is I have one in my garage. You can build a wooden box, you build a wooden crate and you zip it shut with screws. It takes way more time to do that. This is the easier route. I like this I like this better honestly than getting a big a big uh, wooden crate. So this is awesome. It's got venomous down the side, live animal stickers, point direction pointing up. This is Delta Cargo. Live animals up top. I'm ready to open this up to see what's in here. Switch it open with my note. What, what are you laughing at, Kila? Let's see what we got here. Now, when you're shipping these animals, anything venomous, you have to put them, and anytime really that you're moving them, you have to have them in two different containers. So it has to be a container and a container. With venomous, when you're transporting stuff, these venomous boxes right here, I'm gonna make a new one. This is this is Will's this thing is whatever. It's just toolbox says warning venomous on it. I'm gonna make I made one for David Weathers. That's awesome. Maybe I have a picture I'll, I'll post it on here if I can find it. I made one for David Weathers a few years ago that he brought on America's Got Talent that was sick. I painted a big cobra on it. It was a dope box. I'm gonna make one for myself. But yeah, these boxes, you have to have them locked, labeled, and then they have to be either in a snake bag or in a deli cup inside that container with red electrical tape around it. So that way you know that's hazardous animal. Get this open more. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, look how little they are. So tiny. All right. So check this out, like I said. Container, containers in containers, red electrical tape. So these are baby black and white spitting cobra. Naga siamensis on these guys. This is scientific. These guys are awesome. I got two females here. Let's uh, take a closer look. 
So like I mentioned before, these are spitting cobras. They do spit their venom as well as they also can bite and inject venom. All right, safety first. Oh, I just got these bad boys from Home Depot. So I have, I've had lots of spitters in the past. I don't have any right now besides these guys now, but I used to just use goggles, just regular safety glasses, but I've actually been spit in the forehead at my last snake room, I had a uh, it's Naja Palita, Naja Palita. Um, it's a red spitting cobra. I actually got spit in the forehead, and I was working on working on uh, cages. Okay, the snake spit on my forehead. I got venom on my forehead, and I was sweating, and actually sweat down, and I got venom in my from the sweat in my eyes a little bit, and it was excruciating. It was. It sucked, it burned so bad. I remember it like for almost 24 hours, my eyeballs were on fire. I didn't get sick or anything, but dude, it sucked. Now this venom that these guys have, it's a neurotoxin and a cytotoxin. So not only does it attack your nervous system and stuff, but it actually, uh, it kills your tissue also. So it's a, it's, it's a pretty good venom, you know? Oh, let's see here. So I got two different kinds here. They're both obviously black and white spitters. They mostly go by Indo-Chinese or black and white spitters. One of my favorites. Now you can see as when they're babies, they're brown, they have like this brown color. They're not really so black and white. They're kind of like these two different dark brown and then this like light tan brown also. So this one right here is a banded. You see how he has bands on him? And then this one is a striped. They're both females. So I'm gonna raise these guys up and hopefully breed them in the future. Uh, I actually was looking at King Snake earlier today and another, somebody else just posted some black and white spitters the other day. There's a trio on there and there's a pair, but it's for local pickup only and they won't ship them. So whatever, they're lost. I would totally get some adults right now. Super cool. I used to have them a lot. I've, I've bred black and white spitters before. My female, my pair actually, is at Underground Reptiles right now. They have them in their snake room there. They're trying to breed them. They just haven't produced any eggs yet. Hopefully soon they'll get eggs from them. Really cool cobras. I'll put a, a picture of the one that I used to have on here for you guys to check out. He was a really cool snake. He's probably like four and a half feet long. They had a, a pretty good size, like thick body. Super white, super black. Contrast on these guys is awesome when they're adults. They're so cool. Let's see how these guys, uh, see what their temperament's like. Let's get a little hook here. Now, when they're babies, some are seldom to spit, some spit a lot, you know? It all depends on the individual. Look at these little guys. Let's get out. These little guys are so cute. Oh my God. They're the cutest little things ever. Look at these little guys. Look, hey, how are you? Hey. Baby Kobe's. God, what is cuter than little baby cobras? Look at these little guys. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Ready to go. Look at this little guy. He's like, Ace! Hey, oh, there's a bad little cobra. Not even spitting at all. We're not spitting. We're not trying to bite. They're just chilling. Oh, that went right under my chin. Relax. They're so cool. Look at these little guys. Little tiny death worms. They're so cool. 
Relax. This one's pretty. Look at the bands on this one. Look how cool that is. Look at this little guy. Look at the bands. Look at the markings down on This guy too. Look at the markings on the back of this hood. You're so teeny. You're such a tiny little Kobe. This one's got way more of an attitude. Still have yet to spit. But I don't want to take any chances. That's why I got my... That's why I got my goggles on. These little guys will still mess you up. Alright, so I'm going to set up a little cage real quick for these guys. Oh, hey. That little baby coat was crawling around everywhere. What the heck? Get over here. You can go back up here. Thank you. Ah. Look at these little guys. So cool. Now these guys are only a week old too. Like I was saying before, I found this guy last minute who had all these babies. I gotta drill some holes into these, into these things real quick for them too. All right, so that's it with these two little babies. They're awesome. I'm super stoked. Can't wait for them to grow up and see how they're... The cool thing about raising up babies is that their patterns change and their colors change as they get older. Like I said before, these guys are going to get super white. Their patterns are going to get more defined and they're going to be beautiful snakes. Super cool little guys. I'm going to put these guys in the quarantine room for now. Um, they'll stay in there for like a little bit. Just make sure they're okay. They don't mess any other of my snakes up. That's that. Feed them in a couple days. I'll post a video if you guys want to see them feeding for the first time. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, just like all my other little baby snakes, these guys are rodent eaters, so I'll just probably be feeding them pinkies and fuzzies for a little bit until they get big. They're pretty fast growers. So that's it. I got another snake. It's what, 6.30 right now, something like that. I gotta go head to the airport again. I'm getting, an, I got another snake coming in. I tried to time it out perfectly so I can get, I can pick up all of them at the same time but I guess it didn't work out like that. So I'm gonna go grab this new snake. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video of these guys, little black and white spitters, super cool animals. These snakes are awesome. Can't wait to show you how they look when they grow up. Thanks for tuning in guys. Stay tuned for the next time. God, why are you so cute? Obviously, I don't have any eye protection on right now. Or gloves or anything. But I just wanted to see this little baby. I'm a snake handler at heart. Do as I say, not as I do. Practice safe handling. But this little guy is just so cute not to hold. Look at that little guy. You're so cute. So cute.